if you are preparing for a java backend or spring boot interview there's one topic that almost always comes up and that is spring data jpa in this video i'll walk you through the top 10 spring data jpa interview questions and give you short clear answers with real world context let's get started question 1 what is spring data jpa spring data jpa is a part of the larger spring data family it simplifies working with JPA, the Java Persistence API, by removing a lot of boilerplate code. It gives you built-in CRUD of operations, supports pagination and sorting, allows custom queries, and even generates SQL just by looking at your method names. Behind the scenes, it still uses JPA providers like Hibernate. Question 2. What are the key interfaces in Spring Data JPA? The three main interfaces are CRUD repository, paging and sorting repository and JPA repository. Among them, JPA repository is the most commonly used because it includes everything. Basic CRUD, pagination, sorting and even support for custom queries. In most real world applications, developers extend JPA repository to build repositories quickly. Question 3. How does method name based query generation work? This is one of the coolest features of Spring Data JPA. You can simply define methods like find by mail or find by edge greater than and Spring will generate the right query behind the scenes. You don't need to write SQL or JPQL. It's all based on naming conventions. Question 4. How do you write custom queries in Spring Data JPA? If method naming is not enough, Spring Data JPA allows you to define custom queries using the AT query annotation. You can write JPQL or native SQL inside this annotation and use parameters to make it dynamic. For update or delete operations, you can use the at modifying annotation along with that query. This is helpful when you need full control over the query logic. Question 5. What's the difference between find by id and get one? The method find by id returns an optional and immediately fetches the data from the database. On the other hand, get1 used to return a lazy loaded proxy object but it is now deprecated. In newer versions of Spring Data JPA, get reference byte is recommended as the alternative. It behaves similarly to get1 by loading data lazily when the proxy is accessed. Question 6. How do you enable pagination and sorting in Spring Data JPA? Spring Data JPA provides built-in support for pagination and sorting using two interfaces pageable and sort. You can pass these objects as a parameters to your repository methods. This makes it easy to retrieve a specific page of data or sort results by any field. It's especially useful for building APIs or admin dashboards that deal with large data sets. Question 7. What's the difference between at entity, at table and at id? These annotations are part of JPA and are used to map Java classes to database tables a entity marks a class as a JPA entity. A table lets you specify the name of the database table. And a tide marks the primary key of the entity. Together, these annotations tell the JPA provider how to map objects in your application to records in the database. Question 8. What is the difference between lazy and eager loading? In JPA, lazy loading means the related data is not fetched from the database until it is explicitly accessed. Eager loading, on the other hand, means related data is loaded immediately along with the main entity. Lazy loading is better for performance, but it must be handled carefully to avoid issues like lazy initialization exception if the session is closed too early. Question 9. How do you handle transactions in Spring Data JPA? Spring Data JPA supports declarative transaction management using the 8 transactional annotation. Read-only methods can use at transactional read-only equals true for optimization. Write operations typically use at transactional at the service layer to ensure proper transaction boundaries. In many cases, Spring handles transactions automatically for public repository methods, reducing the need for manual configuration. And finally, question 10. What's the difference between Spring Data JPA and Hibernate? Hibernate is a JPA provider it handles the low-level mapping between Java and SQL. 
Spring Data JPA sits on top of that and provides a simpler, more developer-friendly abstraction. It lets you build the data access layer quickly using repository interfaces and method names without writing SQL unless you need to. That's it for now. These are the 10 Spring Data JPA questions you should absolutely know before your next interview.